Hello everyone, trade season is upon us and we have a small trade to discuss. We'll discuss this deal between two of Metro Division rivals coming up right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here at the Nintendo Hoggy channel. Before we begin this video, don't forget to tell this video and subscribe down below. Thank you for all of your support. I'll never know to all of you guys. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section below discussing all that was discussed in today's video. And also don't forget to stay tuned for March 8th so as I do my live trade deadline video uh, early in the morning on March 8th. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but on top of that, we got a small trade here to discuss. Not too much news to discuss here today, uh, but we do have a small trade that happened last night. And that was between two Metro Division rivals and the Columbus Blue Jackets and the Pittsburgh Penguins and it shares as follows. The Pittsburgh Penguins acquired young forward Emil Bemstrom from the Columbus Blue Jackets in exchange for uh, another young forward, one who's a little bit older, in Alex Nylander and a conditional 2026 sixth round pick. Now for the uh, Penguins, this is a really good pickup here, getting Emil Bemstrom. He's a winger. He can play the right wing or left wing. He's a really good winger in that sense. Uh, it was a 2017 fourth round pick by the Columbus Blue Jackets, so uh, he's been able to develop for a little bit. Uh, so far in his career, he's gotten into 204 NHL games, putting up 69 points, including 31 goals, which is pretty good. He's in the final year of his uh, contract. He's going to be an RFA at the end of the year. He's currently making $900,000 on the AAV. Uh, he's a really good bomb six for my opinion. So this is a really good pickup there for the Penguins. This year so far, only got into 32 NHL games, putting up 5 goals, 6 assists, and 11 points after having 55 games of NHL action last year, putting up 7 goals, 15 assists, and 22 points. So he's done really well so far over the past little while. He looks like a really good bomb six forward. So this is a really good pickup there for the Penguins. Penguins. Uh, it's not a huge addition there, but given the fact that Penguins are a team who does not look overly good right now, I haven't really been able to get some really good offense from the bottom six. This is a fantastic pickup for the Penguins, and it's not an overly huge uh, asking price. It's a huge pickup there for Penguins. We know that there was some talk that Bemster may have wanted a fresh start from Columbus, that we know Columbus hasn't had a really good season, and a lot of their players don't really want to be in Columbus right now, so uh, he gets his fresh start in Pittsburgh, which is fantastic. Hopefully he can make the most of his time in Pittsburgh. Meanwhile, you know, for the Jackets, they get two pieces first they get Alex Nylander now Nylander is the brother of William Nylander uh, he's also a winger can play right wing can play left wing he was taken eighth overall in the 2016 draft he hasn't really amounted to a first over round pick he started out his career in Buffalo uh, was then traded by the uh, Sabres to the uh, Blackhawks and Yoki Haru was then traded by the Blackhawks to the Penguins and then was traded by the Penguins now to the Blue Jackets so he's been a lot of places throughout his career uh, his best season up to date was in Chicago when he put up 10 goals and 26 points in 65 games back in 2019-2020. Uh, after that, he didn't play in the NHL for two years. Last year, he played with Oak Spare in the AHL, put up 50 points in 55 games, was a pretty good AHL player. Uh, got into a couple of NHL games, putting up two points in nine NHL games, so it was also a really good play at the NHL level. And then this year so far, he has no points in five NHL games. However, he does have 32 points in 43 AHL games. So he's a really good AHL player, but he hasn't been able to really establish himself besides that one year in Chicago at the NHL level. So hopefully Hopefully a fresh start in Columbus would help him. Uh, like I said, the Jackets just moved Bemstrom. Their depth on the forward group is a little bit better than the Penguins are, but I do think the Nylander will get a shot at the NHL level, especially if the Jackets move a couple of guys like uh, Boone Jenner potentially, for sure Roslovic. If they move a couple of those pieces before a trade deadline, I definitely do expect Nylander to get a little bit of a look there. So uh, this is his fourth team in his career, so he's definitely been on the move for a while. And after a couple of good seasons with the Penguins, he's now going to Columbus. So that's a really good pick up there for the Jackets. Now Nylander is a tiny bit older than Bemstrom is. He also was taken in the draft ahead of Bemstrom. So given that fact, also given the fact that Bemstrom's still young enough that he does have some upside and some potentials being a solid third line forward going forward for the Pittsburgh Penguins, the Penguins did include a conditional 2026 sixth round pick in this deal. Now this pick is still two years away. The condition is if Bemstrom scores at least six goals with the Penguins until the end of the season, so from now until the end of the season, if he is able to score six goals with the Penguins, that sixth round pick will actually be upgraded to a third round pick. So it'll be interesting to see. If Bemstrom can score six goals with the Penguins from now until the end of the season, the uh, Jackets will get a third round pick from the Penguins in 2026 instead of a sixth round pick. So it's a really decent trade in my opinion. Uh, for the Penguins, they get a really good player with some high upside, Bemstrom, who didn't really want to remain in uh, Columbus anymore, wasn't getting a huge piece of opportunity, and I think in Pittsburgh he should be a fantastic third or fourth line forward. You know, for the Jackets to get a, a little bit of an older prospect who also hasn't really worked out over the past little while, and Alex Nylander, who's been to four NHL teams, he gets a new fresh start too going to Columbus. He's going to be a solid bomb six 
for there. And given the fact that Bemstrom has more upside, Bemstrom is younger, the, the Penguins also throw a conditional six-round pick in there that could turn into a third-round pick if Bemstrom has a fantastic start to his Penguins career. So we'll have to wait and see exactly how that works out. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on all this down in the comment section below. What do you think of this trade? Who do you think wins? Is it the Penguins or is it the Jackets? For now, I think the Penguins do win this deal given the fact they have Bemstrom, who's a really good player. But if that pick upgrades to a third-round pick, I may be convinced that the Jackets win this deal. So it'll be interesting to see exactly what happens. But in my opinion for now, I think the Penguins do win this deal. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on that. That's all I want to talk about for today. Remember, don't forget to stay tuned for my next few videos that are going to happen over the next two weeks. And two weeks today, March 8th trade deadline. And I'll be doing my live trade deadline video. So don't forget to stay tuned for that. Remember to like this video. And if you're ready to subscribe down below, thank you for all of your support. I would never be able to do this without you guys. So don't forget to subscribe down below and leave a comment down in the comment section below discussing all the discussed in today's video. I also do a blog talking about news, rumors, analysis, stuff like that. So if you check that out, I'll leave a link down in the description below. And I can't wait to see you guys all for our next video. See you guys soon.